switching to New Mexico, I won't spend a lot of time on this because as Bill mentioned, this is our future. But it is important with a, the Westwater transaction, we were able to secure almost the dominant position in New Mexico with respect to both mineral rights, uh, known resources, historic resources, and uh, and it's really made our complemented the package that uh, Encore already had prior to that acquisition. Uh, and it's as you'll see as we go through looking at some of these projects, you'll see how it truly brings you know, lack of a better word, ties the whole place together. We, we have significant resources in uh, New Mexico. Obviously, we're working on updating some of our 4301 work uh, to, to reaffirm some of this because now we can start combining existing pro projects we had and with uh, projects we got from uh, Westwater. Uh, our, our most... Uh, uh, our priority uh, in situ recovery uh, properties are Crown Point and Hosta Butte. The, uh, the beauty of Crown Point is already licensed and it's uh, under Laramide Resources uh, license and there's a lot of history as to why that happened. But this is a prolific uh, uh, area for production. And uh, it's interesting that, uh, as I mentioned before, I came full circle with uh, with the South Texas projects. I also worked on Crown Point as well during my time with uranium resources back in the, the 80s and early 90s. Uh, this is another opportunity for us we see in the future. As Bill said, there's a lot of work to be done. Juan Tafoya and Marquez is one of those projects where by with Westwater uh, acquisition, we we're able to tie two projects together that are actually literally the same ore body across the fence from each other and uh, we're currently looking at these and updating our 4301 uh, on this to, to bring in a uh, more substantial resource here. Again, this is the future. Uh, same with Nose Rock, as you can see from the picture, uh, the EU, uh, Encore has a property adjacent to Westwater. It really fills it out and really enhances our resource base. And then West Largo, Ambrosia Lake, which has a, if you're familiar with New Mexico, of the, the 700 million pounds of uranium that was produced out of New Mexico, most of it came from the Ambrosia Lake uh, district. And uh, there's significant uh, uh, resources left. And also it's very amenable for ISR production. Uh, there's an adjacent property currently owned by BHP Billiton that produced uranium at uh, using the Stopes leaching for about 800,000 pounds per year that's nearby where these properties are. So we believe it's, a, it's also a light to the future.